Frankie. <sighs> One minute, please. Frankie. Today, on Box Back. Yep. Our first ever 12 box episode. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> This is an incredible site. These are two libraries of macaroni and cheese sent to us by fans. No, we're not gonna do all of these today. That would just be pure Lin sanity. But I wanna get into these Macs a little bit because there's some pretty cool stuff and we got some cool letters to the folks who sent them in too. What is this? Kroger. Kroger. Mr. Easton Martin on YouTube is called James Martinez. They've got a, a box Mac label and the receipt very efficiently laid out. These were 69 to 79 cents a box. Some side notes for us to contemplate. Okay, right? what do you got? Whole grain, box is bigger but weighs less. And he's right, the box actually has more physical size to it, um, but it has less weight. Thicker in that dimension and in this dimension. Excellent observation. If you want to avoid caking, you can always make the sauce in a separate pan and pour it over the mac. Thank you for that tip, I will not be taking it. This guy's got a lot of tips. He started bombarding me with Facebook messages about how we could make the show more marketable. And they're all, the heart is in the right place. He has another comment right here. I think the Rapid Mac gives an unfair disadvantage. So he's really calling the shots. Yes, and here's one more. Harris Teeter is owned by Kroger. These are all good pieces of data. I love the side view boxing of it. It looks like to me like a, a library of books you'd find on a fine bookshelf. Maybe encyclopedia volumes. Each box has a unique Southwestern themed bowl, a colored bowl, and then they've put like some kind of knit strapping around each one. And they're all tied into the branding colors of the box. So this um, white cheddar, get the green box, it's white cheddar. Uh, even the- Wait, who were you impersonating? Get the green box, is that some mom? Yeah, that, some that, mom that, who, who sent in their 11 year old to get macaroni and cheese for dinner. Yeah. Get the green box, Kroger with the green bowl, Timothy. I've made these very, now I've all disorganized them. Um, Oh, you're just being an awful <laughs> Oh! No color theming between the boxes on these. They do have a color theming, but it's not quite as prevalent. I thought for sure, when I saw M and C like that. Yeah. That this was like some kind of McDonald's brand. I keep thinking that these are arches, and I think even the sort of reddish, brownish color reminds me of McDonald's branding with yeah, the, with the yellow lettering. These were sent in by Mr. Cody Dellinger. Dellinger, and it's sort of on nice like a- US Army Corp of Engineer uh, stationery. Quad ruled, very nice paper, very good quality, probably the nicest letter paper we've ever received anything on. Frankie John and the gang, please enjoy this bounty. And this isn't even all the Macs he sent from this brand. He oh, sent a lot if, more. if you watch our Tuesday content, yeah. you know how much he sent. He sent a ton. Oh my god. What noodle. the ass? <laughs> Frankie, there's so many Macs. I can't deal with this many Macs. Growing up, Mayer was the biggest supermarket in my hometown of Lima, Ohio. However, in all of my grocery run experiences there, I never recall Mayer branded Macs. Truth be told, I had always ignored store branded Macs. That is until Box Mac showed me that there is indeed a Mac universe beyond craft. Well done, gentlemen. P.S. is pronounced Meyer? Meyer. Meyer. Yep. Couldn't rob YouTube of you all butchering the name first. We've been saying Mayer this whole time, haven't we? There's six Macs of each type and they all have parody. Gender parody? Gender and, and, and race parody and noodle parody, maybe not. Frankie, I've already selected the Macs. We're, yeah. not, we're not gonna talk through it. Should I try to guess? Yeah. I think that you're gonna go with original. Definitely not. What the hell? Nope. You, 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 don't, you, don't we need a baseline? No. Oh, we don't? No. So when are we gonna get around to orig original? You do that on the first show. Am I not making a good point here? So then we'll never do it. Maybe later. Spirals, I don't think he's doing Saving it. Saving for the festival of spirals. Yeah, sure. White cheddar, maybe. Rich and creamy, definitely. <laughs> three cheese, definitely. I think we found a three. Yes. It's thick and creamy and it's three cheese. You got it. <laughs> Just because you want to. Uh huh. The thing is, original Macs almost always are not that great. Yeah, but this isn't about whether or not it's great. We, we had Horizons. People love the shows <laughs> that are really good or really bad. That's right. I'm trying to craft a, I see. a really good show. Yeah. A really big shoe. There's a really big shoe tonight. A really big shoe tonight. Yeah, we don't want to blow through a really mediocre shoe. <laughs> yes. So three cheese, I see it here. Yep. And thick and cheesy, not yeah. thick and creamy. Creamy, cheesy, these are sort of synonyms in the Mac world. I think so. Contrary to what our good friend, Easton, East, East, Easton. East, Easton. 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 It's pronounced exactly as it's spelled. We gotta put one in a rapid because <laughs> I don't have four pans. Which ones are gonna be, Frankie? 
He did say specifically don't do rapid. But look, guys, uh, anybody who might send us Max, the rapid is not a disadvantage. No, we've, we've studied this. The only cases we had a clear rapid disadvantage is when it had to cook strange pastas, like gluten-free pastas. Do you see an issue with doing a, th a thick and creamy in a rapid? No. How about the thick and cheesy Meyer in a rapid? All right, rapid, thick and creamy Meyer. John Rapid Meyer. Uh, basic it's, noodle there. It's Meyer, by the way. Meyer, you're right. Kind of like it's not Heb and it's not Daya. It's not Cruft. Water a little bit salted here. I am a leading consumer of salt. You don't say. On an industrial scale, salt is incredibly cheap. $650 for 10 tons of salt. It's a lot of salt, Frankie. That's like four pallets of salt. That's COB at their dock. So that means that you have to pay everything after their dock. Pepper is 17,000 times more expensive. So when you see both the salt and pepper shaker on the restaurant table. Yeah. And you stick with the Land O'Lakes. Yes, Land of Lakes margarine we're using today. I don't know what the, the Land of Lakes is. Do you know what the Land of Lakes is? I would go with Michigan. Uh, you might be, yeah, Minnesota. Minnesota. Some soda with your minna. Look, no branding at all that tells you where it's from. Cookies on the back. Mm. Should we just do a show where we cook cookies? Yes. Christmas. As they said in, in Hank, uh, Hank in the Hill, Hank of the Hill. Hank in the Hill. King of the Hill. There's a great little clip about Peggy talking about how hot it is in Phoenix, Arizona, and how it's an affront to mankind. This city should not exist. It is a monument to man's arrogance. That show was great, by the way. You ever watch that show? Uh, all I ever hear about is how great it actually was and how surprised everyone is that it was great. Well, how come they missed it for well, 10 years? Well, because it's not for kids. Well, neither were Simpsons. Simpsons is to Star Wars as King of the Hill is to Star Trek. Am I oh making any God, sense? This is an SAT question. Star Wars, Simpsons, they're really good. They go down nice. But look, I mean, when it comes to you, Mike Judge, give me Beavis and Butthead any day. I think King of the Hill is a better show than Beavis and Butthead, though. More cerebral. See, that crap. <laughs> you do a trailer to sabotage, and everyone's mad that it looks looks good. <laughs> no, they don't. They don't get it. It's supposed to be boring, and it's supposed to be about boring space stuff and the perfect world that I could live in. I have made a mess, but what else is new? I'm not trying to disparage Arizona. I actually have heard very nice things about living there. You don't have rain, right? So any of the problems you'd get with rain, like rot or rust on your car, is non-existent. Unlike I've here, where the cars just rust away. Can you sing the King of the Hill song? And I notice I lean a lot, all the time, on everything. I made an effort the first episode we did today. Now, I just want to lean on everything. <laughs> They could be done a little more, but the problem with the rapid is you don't get an option. Well, that's why he said it was a disadvantage. Don't admit to it. This has everything already in it. Oh, it needs the milk. Remember commercials about how if you drink milk, you'll be hot and awesome and tall? I'd like to meet you, but I'll bet you're hoping for a hunk. Milk's about the best thing I can drink right now to help me build strong arms, powerful legs, and a broad chest. And when all my work is done, will you love me just for my body? I can live with that. Milk, it does a body good. Frankie. You didn't write which pot is which on them. Uh-oh. Well, we know which one went in the rapid, right? Yes, because you wrote rapid on it. This one has to be the other uh, rich and creamy. That leaves what? Two, three cheeses. Both of which are shells. <laughs> uh, shoot. Shall we pause? So we have to go back and check, and we do have it straight now. We have Kroger in the medium pot. Yes, we should have sang. The butter is thoroughly cushed. It smells like that creamy smell which I like. This is another thick and creamy one. It's looking pretty good. I can't let go. He's been watching this video. It's a rock set music video that has many, many generations of VHS dubs. And it's about the study of like how it how degenerates. VHS, yeah, generations degrade. Fading like a flower is the song. To hide away every time I be I can't let go. I want to sing this karaoke. The sign of a really good 80s song is when the chorus hits and you want to point at something in earnestness. I see the dull horizons underneath the blazing sky. I'm where the eagles flying higher and higher. That kind of thing. Want to be your man in motion? All we need is a pair of wheels. Take me where the music flies. Simply inspiring. John always thought that they were simply inspiring was part of that. 
lyric set. Simply inspiring. Which would require kind of taking a syllable out of the word inspiring. In that way that biblical uh, hymns take syllables out. He is risen. <laughs> like risen's got to be one syllable now. What do you want me to do? Uh, Surf's Mac. Both <laughs> of the Meyer ones are really clumpy and the cheese. And the three cheese is really dark in color. Yeah, I have to say the Kroger brand looks a little better. So let's do Meyer then before okay. it dries out. Three cheese. Uh, it doesn't look great. It looks oily. Pretty good though. You think so? What do you think? I don't agree. I think it's got kind of a, a, a clumpy, greasy. A little bit, yeah, but I, I don't dislike it. I actually like how smooth the cheese sauce is. If we made it again, cut down the butter. There's no reason for four tablespoons. Well, let's try three cheese from sure. Kroger. This looks quite nice. Nice, a uh, little bit thinner cheese sauce. Looks pretty good. Nice. I like it a lot. But, I like it. But it is more butter, less cheese. It doesn't taste greasy, though. Round one, three cheese goes to Kroger. I like this three cheese quite a bit. It's kind of like that, the H-E-B. That had more distinct flavors in it, like blue cheese. Yeah. This doesn't have any, like, really sharp blue cheese. No, it's just got a really nice mac taste. It's very good. We'll do Kroger rich and creamy next. Very nice looking. I like the look of this maybe yeah. the best out of all of them. Okay, I like that better than the three cheese, personally. Yeah. Um, it definitely has an additional creaminess to it, doesn't it? A little more cheese and a little more butter. Mm -hmm. I like these kind of firm, but mm -hmm. moderately small elbows. You know, I've been growing on elbows, I have to say. We always sort of prefer shells over elbows, I think. Yeah, I think, well, I love elbows, but I don't care for the tenderoni. That's that little tiny no, straight no. elbow. Agreed. And then finally, thick and cheesy yes. Meyer. I think the rabbit has just served it some. The noodles are a little tough. But the cheese flavor, I don't like it as much as the Kroger one. It's pretty good, though. I'm trying to get past the fact that the noodles are kind of hard. I would say the cheese flavors are actually probably a dead heat. Yeah, very, very close. Maybe the man's right about the wrap. Maybe I need to buy a fourth pot. I'm going to buy a fourth pot. Nevertheless, overall, Kroger does take it. Yes, in both cases. It's not too often we get to do thick and creamies, and I really like them. I do too. They're some of my favorite macs. One of my favorites. There's at least two more shows here comparing these macaroni and cheeses head to head, and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing if, if Kroger keeps coming out on top or will, um, will Mayer pull ahead. Meyer. Meyer, whatever. I'm all out of noodles. I'm so lost without them. Oh, I'm leaning on everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> Next up, watch us review Annie's Deluxe Mac and Cheese, in which we mostly just sing that song from Anastasia. Then revisit this old episode about stall brands you won't click. Simply inspire them. Go. Oh, hello. Uh, <laughs> do, do the intro again, please. <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> Hello to you too. <laughs> Hello. Uh, my John's not working. <laughs> Hello.